Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here with another walkthrough of the week. This week we are here in North Colony School District. This is 383 Albany Shaker Road in Loudonville. This is a three bedroom, two full bath ranch home built in 1966. This is a B level property, so B level property. A level property is basically brand new construction. My scale is based on ability to improve equity. So A level property, no ability to improve equity. It's already top level. There's nothing that can be updated or done to improve the equity short of an addition or finishing a basement, something like that. You're adding square footage to the house. B level property is a property that is in very good condition. There's no damage to the home. It can be lived in as is and there is ability to improve the equity. So there are things that could be improved or updated that would add to the equity of the home. A C-level home, that's not what this is, but a C-level home, just for reference, is a home that could probably still be lived in, but there is actual damage. So there are re repairs or updates that really need to be made, as opposed to a B-level, nothing needs to be done. It's just personal preference or adding equity to the home. That's your only updating things. So this is a B-level home. Some work has already been done, so it's a it's a higher level B-level home, but we'll see all of that when we go through the walkthrough. So if you or anyone you know are thinking about selling your home, now's the time to give me a call. You can see the video, end of the video for my contact information, or you can head to my Facebook page and get my contact information there. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started with the walkthrough. So we're here today in North Colony School District. This is 383 Albany Shaker Road in Loudonville. Uh, this is a corner lot. It's on the corner of Albany Shaker and Majestic Court. This is a three bedroom, two full bath ranch home. Uh, you know what? I don't remember the size of the lot. I wasn't going to say it, but uh, it didn't change my mind. Let's see if I find it quick. Uh, half an acre lot there we go so you can see it's a technically a sidecar so it's albany shaker road this right here we're on i'm on majestic right now so we have a side entry two car garage that goes on to majestic uh, we'll see the rest of the yard but you can see we've got a fenced in a fenced in portion of the backyard so following the sidewalk to the front door of the home we've got a concrete front patio area here it's wide enough for some sitting area all right entering into the home we enter into the living room area so we've got hardwood floors throughout a majority of the home, built in 1966, so you would expect a classic wood floor. So here in the living room, we have a large stone wall area with a real wood fireplace in it. We've got large front windows. Uh, I'm gonna hit the bedrooms first, I think. Because this end of the house is what's been updated most. So I'll actually start at the very back and then work our way forward. So starting here in the master suite. The main bedroom area with the overhead fan. So we've got barn doors here, barn door to the closet. We've got a walk-in closet there. And then here is the master bath. So we've got a tiled floor, a dresser style vanity, and then a tiled walk-in shower with a glass door. Uh, that's a curtain there. There's actually a window uh, right here. So we can let in natural light also. Here we have the shared bath. This has also been updated. So another dresser style vanity, uh, 
looks like a ceramic countertop, another tile floor, and then another uh, tiled in walk in shower. Here's the second bedroom. The sliding door closet. And then here we have the third bedroom. With another sliding door closet. So those are all three bedrooms and all two bathrooms. Now we'll continue to the main living, through the rest of the living area. So here we have the dining room. Dining room is open into the living room. And we have the kitchen area here. So this is the common layout for this time period for ranch homes. Uh, kitchen has kind of walled itself off. Uh, a lot of times what people will do when they purchase homes like this, if they still see the walls are here, they'll take the walls down uh, and they'll open the whole area up right there. It typically requires, uh, first of all, a permit and you you need to call an engineer uh, because there will be some, you will typically need to well, let's just look at it. So you're, this wall here is, is supporting uh, a portion of this. There's a main beam that's running across. It's right above this wall that I'm looking at. There's a large beam that's running across the ceiling. Uh, and it's only sized enough to run from that corner to that corner is the size of the beam. So in order for you to run it from that corner that I'm looking at, this corner, to what would now be that corner, the beam will need to be bigger than it is. Uh, typically, when I have done it, it is bigger than the floor. You'd want it's going to stick out of the floor uh, a bit. So uh, it can be done. Oh, the other thing to do would just be to. Uh, I've also seen people just put an island here in this corner right here and then they just leave a column going up there. Then you, you don't need to resize the beam, uh, but you just have a column sticking there. So it's not wide, wide open, but you know, the walls are gone. So it, it does still open the area up. All right, enough of that. So we have an in-wall oven here, a separate range top, electric range top with the overhead hood. Microwave is in the corner area there. Uh, dishwasher, double base sink, and then area for the side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator freezer. And then off the kitchen, uh, this is a little different because of how this particular layout is. Normally the kitchen is just the end of it, uh, but they have this additional family room here. We are behind the garage right now. So here to the left is the two car garage. Uh, two car garage with a single bay. I was looking for the uh, uh, the size of the lot at the time, so I don't remember if I said that or not. <clears throat> so we have the uh, so family room area here. This is more of an informal space, kind of to the back of the house. So you got to go through the whole house to get here. So it's a little bit more of a private setting. Uh, door to the basement right there. We have an additional door out to the backyard. You know what, since I'm here, I think I'll go out that, that way. Uh, we have a mini split in this room, probably for providing the air conditioning to this room. I do see we have a floor vent here. And then here's the laundry area. So this is more, uh, oh, this is a half bath. Oh, this was an unpublic record, oh, sneaky. Yeah, so we've got a half bath here. You can obviously tell this is not a new addition, so it's not like it was something that was done under the radar. It's just another 
I, I see it a lot in Albany County. You get the Albany County discrepancies, they're not recording things, and I don't know why they're recorded because it's obviously been there forever. I think it's just Albany County, but. Uh, yeah, I was gonna go out the store. All right. So heading out this door, we have the fenced in backyard area here. We have the condenser for the mini split right there and then the condenser for the main unit of the house. We have a storage shed in the corner back there. All right, that concludes the walkthrough. All right, so that was everything. So three bedrooms, two and a half bath, two and a half bath. I don't think I ever said the square footage. Uh, 1,826, ah, 1,861. I get my, I'm number dyslexic. Um, 1,861 square feet, uh, ranch home, B-level property. So updates that have been made, the bathrooms have all been updated. The master suite as a whole has been updated. And then both of the full bathrooms have already been updated. So when you're talking about B-level property, areas that you're going to improve equity, your high dollar items, are, your high dollar items uh, well rooms I guess, are basically gonna be your rooms with water. So your bathrooms and your kitchens, those are going to be the high dollar items. Your bathrooms are already done. Uh, it would just be the kitchen that would really need to be, that would, I shouldn't say need, that, that has the potential to be updated. So there's room to update uh, in, in, the, in the kitchen. Um, other items that could be, we've got wood paneling in the family room. Um, the carpet is newer, that's not an original carpet, not brand new, but it has been replaced. So that's a newer carpet, probably doesn't need to be addressed. Um, so it's primarily it's primarily that just side of the house. Those are minor cosmetic things going from like a wall paneling to a different styling of wall. That's not a big dollar ticket item. Uh, that's relatively inexpensive to do. So um, things like that are, are really kind of appealing. You, you do get a pretty decent boost of equity um, for that for relative to cost. So so that's that's the reason that you got the B level there. Um, uh, yeah, so check the property information page for the most up-to-date information on the property, any kind of price changes, any special incentives, any open houses, all of that can be found on the property information page. Please like my Facebook page to see more walkthroughs of the week and anything else that I post on that platform. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel will have all the videos that I'm posting across every platform, plus a few things that are exclusive just to YouTube, so you can subscribe to YouTube to see all of that. So that has been this week's walkthrough of the week. Thank you for joining me and please tune in again next time for the next walkthrough of the week. No light there. Bye-bye for now.